Genius Max. In this series of premium video tutorials in 8 hours and 35 minutes, that's more than 500 minutes of tutorials, we learn how to use Arnold for 3ds Max. First, I show you where to find different Arnold tools and functions inside 3ds Max and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with Arnold. Sampling and ray depth are the most important principles that you should be familiar with when working with Arnold. That's why we discuss them comprehensively in 57 minutes and in 7 lessons. We make sure you comprehend the core principles before moving on to more general topics like lighting and shading. The next section of the course is dedicated to lighting. We'll learn about different lights in Arnold and different lighting techniques. We'll learn about area lights, pot, distant and point lights, mesh and photometric lights. We'll learn what are light filters and how to use them, what is physical sky, sky dome light and image based lighting. You'll learn how to approach interior lighting in Arnold for 3ds Max. We'll learn about amazing volumetric effects in Arnold including atmosphere volume and fog. The lighting section of this course is about 1 hour and 55 minutes in 12 lessons. In the next section of the comprehensive introduction to Arnold for 3ds Max, we start talking about Arnold materials and maps. First, we'll learn about standard surface material which is the main material in Arnold and capable of creating all sorts of materials. We dedicated 5 videos in 80 minutes to discuss standard surface material thoroughly. Then we discover bump and displacement mapping in Arnold. We explore standard hair material in a lot of details. This material lets you realistically create hair shaders. The standard hair is fantastic and definitely one of the best hair shaders out there. Then we learn about ray switch, ambient occlusion, curvature, flakes, wireframe, utility, flat, lambert, two-sided, shadow match shader and much more. Then we take a closer look at the remaining materials and maps in Arnold. We learn about different color nodes, conversion, math and shading state nodes. We learn how to use utility nodes and hopefully after watching this section, you should be very comfortable developing complex material using this long list of materials and maps. The material section of this course is more than 3.5 hour in 18 lessons. Then we take a look at 3ds Max's physical camera and how Arnold supports it. We learn about different camera features, we explore how to achieve camera effects like depth of field and motion blur. In about 35 minutes and in 3 lessons, we learn all about Arnold and cameras. In the section 6 of this course, we learn how to render our scenes in Arnold for 3ds Max. We learn about AOVs, what are the AOVs that Arnold offers and how to export and composite them in a compositing app like After Effects. Then we learn about custom AOVs and how to write them out. After that, we discover different render settings in Arnold. The rendering section of the course is about 51 minutes in two lessons. In the final section of the course, we take a closer look at Arnold properties modifier and Arnold procedurals. And finally, we learn about Arnold volume. We learn how capable Arnold is in handling open VDB files and rendering them realistically. The final section of the course is 30 minutes in 3 lessons. We plan to keep this course alive and update the course with more video tutorials as soon as there is a major update from Solid Angle for Arnold for 3ds Max. Over the past 2 years at MoGraphPlus.com, we have produced tons of Arnold tutorials and courses like our comprehensive introduction to Arnold for Cinema 4D and our developing realistic shaders in Arnold. And now that we finally have Arnold for 3ds Max, let's take a closer look at one of the most popular render engines in the world and learn all about it. My name is Kamel Khezri from MoGraphPlus.com and I'm honored to be your instructor for this course. So sign in or sign up and let's get started. 